The AcademicEnglishAcademy.com presents Writing Series 1, Video 3. You wrote your narrative essay, so now what? Do you have a thesis? Check your tense. Check your word choice. And do you have enough details and explanations? Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for being with us today. This is the follow-up from the assignment that was posted yesterday, your first narrative piece that was due at midnight. And thank you so much for the number of responses I got. I was so pleased and so happy to check our email and see so many students are already following academicenglishacademy.com. Great, because this way you're really going to improve your English for your TOEFL exam and to be college ready in America. But let's take a look at the essay example that I'm using today. This is written by an advanced Chinese student and I chose it because I think it's well done. I think she made some good points, but it's also illustrating the fact that there's a big difference between being advanced and being fluent. So you still might have some work to do. So let's take a look here um, at the color coding system. One is going to be um, the first thing, the green. Anything in green is going to be where I add more information. Anything in yellow is word choice or tense that needs to be corrected. So let's take a look at the first paragraph. Everyone's major concerns are their career options and about what kind of people they want to be. Okay, that's a good general overview like we talked about in the other two videos. Many factors will affect the choice of major such as parents' requirements, friends' influence, as well as personal hobbies. This is great, that's good background information. Um, I'm going to show you why I highlighted one and two. Okay, for number one, the word should be affect as a verb, something that is affecting your life. The, when you see the word effect with an E, it's an actual noun, it's a thing that occurred, okay? So we're changing this to affect and extremely, extremely important, if you've seen the first two videos, this student is forgetting her thesis. So she needs a thesis statement. When I was deciding on my major, I had to consider, consider whether I wanted to give up my studies and leave my friends to pursue my dream. So now I know that she's going to talk about her thought process as she decided on her major. Okay, paragraph two. As for me, it's tough to decide which field I should focus on. I have good grades in school and get along well with classmates and teachers, but there is one thing I can't stand. Now, just from reading those two sentences, see the tense is not correct. These statements might be true to this student today. She may feel this way today, but this is all information pertaining to an event in the past. Okay, so everything that is in present tense is going to be switched into past tense in the corrected copy. That is staying up late. Sometimes too much homework makes me stressed out. Finally, my health situation is very terrible. One thing is interesting that I feel better when I play the piano. The music makes me relaxed and energetic. My mother often takes me to concerts and they are amazing and I really hope to be performing in one of them someday. Okay, we need a little bit more explanation in certain pieces of this paragraph. Okay, now if you take a look, I actually split this into two body paragraphs, okay? As for me, it was, past tense, tough to decide which field I should focus on, I thought, that I could have an academic major. I was thinking of studying chemistry or even medicine. We need a little bit more explanation. She can't just say, I got good grades and I liked my teachers. We need some more thought with this, okay? I had good grades in school and I got along well with classmates and teachers, but there was one thing I couldn't stand leading me into the next section. That was staying up late the high school curriculum in China is very demanding, and so I had hours of homework to complete each night. This took most of my free time. Sometimes too much homework made me stressed out. So 
we need a little bit more explanation. Now this sounds more fluent. I'm right with her. I don't have any questions. I understand that she thinks she's good in science. Maybe she wants to major in chemistry or medicine. She, academically, she's a strong student. But there's one thing that is on her mind, and that's the fact that she doesn't like staying up to do hours of homework every night. Okay. Now, let's go into the next body paragraph. I actually switched this from one to two body paragraphs to make it more um, reader friendly. And remember, who's your reader? Your college professor or the TOEFL score? You want to make sure your essay is easy to follow. Another factor that was also influencing my decision was that my health was suffering from lack of sleep and stress. If we go back to the first draft, one thing the student does here, she says, finally, my health situation is very terrible. And there's nothing else to discuss about it, that she makes one sentence and moves on. She needs to explain this because that's a really strong statement to make without any further explanation. Okay, so I moved that whole section on health and made it into a new paragraph. I was staying up late to complete my homework and then I had to wake up around five o'clock to get ready for school. Oftentimes, I would have headaches and feel very tired during the day. It was very difficult to focus on all of my school responsibilities feeling so poorly. Okay, now I understand why her health is suffering. Okay, it makes perfect sense that she included this in a discussion about her major because it's influencing her life choice. I really didn't know how to change this aspect of my life, but I noticed something that would significantly influence my decision. Now I have a nice lead into how she became a piano performance major. Not just that I noticed when I play the piano, music makes me relaxed and energetic. My mother takes me to concerts. You need to know how to flow into the next section. I felt, past tense, much better when I was playing the piano. And now remember, she might feel great playing the piano today. That's not the point. The point is, is that this whole essay is about a memory from the past, okay? I have played the piano since I was a young child, but since I couldn't practice much during the week due to my homework load, I would only play the piano on the weekends. The music seemed to improve my health it eased my stress and made me feel energetic. Now, she needed a little bit more background information about the piano. Again, here she said, one thing is interesting that I feel better when I play the piano. Well, if she's going to become a piano performance major, we need to know that she played the piano in the past. She can play the piano well. It's important information for the reader to better understand the essay. Um, and instead of using relaxed and energetic, we corrected it to feeling that it eased her stress. She was feeling less stress and made her feel energetic because it ties into what she already said. You see, it's tying into what she said here in the first body paragraph, feeling stressed out. Now, the piano is making her feel less stressed. It's easing her stress. I also had the wonderful opportunity to see many concerts when I was living with my parents. A little more explanation. Rather than just saying my mother took me to many concerts, we need a little more information here. My mother often took me to concerts and they were amazing and I really began to envision myself performing at a concert someday. Okay, if we look back, at number, where I put number eight before, I really hope to be performing in one of them someday. I tied it into the fact that here, the concerts, going to the concerts, gave her the thought of performing someday. You need to tie your thoughts together, okay? Make a more complex sentence. And now we have the conclusion. After that, I came to a decision. I wanted to be a piano performance major, 
it was a difficult decision for me because that meant I would have to give up my studies and leave my classmates and teachers to start a new journey. The one thing I want to add here, I changed this word from hard in the first draft to difficult because we want to have the best vocabulary possible. And hard refers to a number of things being hard. This metal is hard. This wall is hard. Um, we want to use the better vocabulary words, okay? So difficult is a better word choice. It sounds more academic and more fluent. I have already started my new life by attending college in America. Now I'm taking ESL classes to improve my English and I have homework every night, but it only takes me an hour or two to complete. So now she's filling us in on her life and we're seeing where this direction took her. So it's, this is a much more complete essay than before. Now most of my time is spent practicing the piano, which I love. I'm fearful but excited. My life has really changed and I have a new happiness in my life. Even though I miss my friends and family, I do feel some stress and nervousness about auditioning for different music programs, but I think it's worth doing what I'm interested in. This will make my life interesting. She's given us a little bit of new information. Now we know she's already in America and where this is leading her. Remember what we talked about in the second video. When you write a conclusion, a little new piece of information, okay, we've got that with now that she's living in America and attending ESL classes. We have a recap. She came to a decision about her major. She wanted to be a piano performance major. It was difficult because I would have to give up my studies and leave my classmates and teachers, which is what she mentioned way in the beginning, right? She gets along with classmates and teachers, okay? That's coming back in the conclusion. She's reminding the reader what she was talking about. Very good. One thing here, now she discusses here that she's nervous about auditioning for different music programs. New information, but it ties perfectly into her major, her new life choice, and she sums it up by saying it's worth doing what I'm interested in. This will make my life interesting. It's a great conclusion. One thing I want to bring to your attention is the word but in the very, oh, sorry about that, right there, okay? Um, it's a very minor change, but one thing that drives us ESL teachers crazy is starting a sentence with but. That's not what it's intended for. But is a transition word. It's supposed to be used in a single sentence to switch your thought process, okay? Like it is here. You're going to see many articles, many books, um, many assignments that people, published authors, start their sentences with the word but, but that is not correct. That is one thing that will drive your ESL teacher crazy. Use the word but properly. Comma, always the comma is first, and then the word but. Do not put your comma after the word but. Okay, many people learn this the wrong way somewhere down the line, and it's not correct. So, thank you for being with us today. These both essays will be posted online, so you can review them as much as you want, and you can watch our video, as always, on YouTube. Thank you and happy writing.